Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably into the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know he's an Israelite. I'll go ahead with that. All right. First John 4 and 6. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. That's right. Right, so, so if you a man in the Lord, you're going to understand what we're saying. But if you're just a piece of shit and a demon, <laughs> you're going to have a problem with every last word we say. <laughs> These people are actually, crazy, Chris man. Has to go more man I don't know how to talk to them. But that's the only way you can talk to them because that's the only way they understand shit. Yeah, man, you go. talk to them polite and nice, they ain't, eh, they ain't on that shit. They ain't right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody trying to hear that bullshit, yeah, man. They go, yeah. hey, they've been preaching that, that fucking faggot doctor for years. Mm -hmm. They ain't with a goddamn person. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Yeah, the Bible is the spirit of truth. America is the spirit of error. That's right. Going down to watch some red, white, and boom, that's the spirit of error. Mm, mm, mm. If you're going down to watch the fireworks downtown, there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with your whole spirit. In a time of awakening, man. In a time of enlightenment, when the Lord said, wake up out of sleep. These motherfuckers looking for a medication to go even in a deeper sleep. They gonna you go, know? They going to they celebrate. They going to celebrate the beast. The beast. Pretty much. The yeah. That's what they're doing. They're giving praises to the beast. Oh. And Worship actually, that image. the date of 4th of July actually goes back to some Muslims. Let me get some. I All believe right. it was under Saladin. I, now, I forget the exact battle. I got to look it up. It's been a minute since I looked it up. But get on the internet and look up uh, Google, like, uh, the true date of 4th of July, a Muslim killing Christians or something like that. Because the 4th of July it commemorates the killing of Christians by a Muslim. That's a go. fact. Um, this is Revelation 13. No, I'm sorry. 14, oh, yeah. It's like a 14 and 8. Thomas Jefferson wasn't no Christian. Okay? Thomas Jefferson. You know, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. But he said that the Bible was pretty much a joke. He mm. said the Lord never rose from the dead, never mm. healed nobody. Mm. Mm. Then he came out with his own Bible that he mm. edited. Mm. He took all the miracles out. Mm. And he took all the supernatural stuff out. Mm. 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 That's a devil for you, man. That's the goddamn devil. Isn't that a curse in Revelation 22? Take away and add on to the book? <laughs> He's cursed. This whole family's cursed. If you got children, they're cursed. They're going into slavery. Damn right. Yeah, right. And, and say, if you don't go by this doctrine. That's right. right. So you can't tell me America is a Christian nation. America was never a Christian nation. America was founded by Freemasons and devil worshippers. And you're all fucking slaves. A bunch of child molesting factors. Revelation 14 and 8. And they're right. followed. Right. Oh, why you said that? They found body. Uh, they uh, was renovating Benjamin Franklin's home. They found all kind of uh, bodies that he'd been uh, experimenting on underneath his house. Benjamin Franklin and George Washington. Because the George Washington one came out like about four or five months ago. It was on oh, the I didn't see that yep, one. Yep, yep. I believe it. Yep, found a bunch of bones and shit under the basement. No, we ain't making <laughs> this shit up. Yeah. Then Benjamin Franklin gonna pretend like he invented electricity. Right. You got your fucking mind, man. That shit came and brought a laugh to me when I was reading that shit too, Coach. I remember you used to say that shit all the time, how they, was, how they found them bones other, and now it's coming out. Yeah. And you said that years ago. I found out about it years ago. Right, I think I was right, like, right. That, that's been out there for like 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And now it's coming out. Now it's like, hell, <laughs> so what? That's what the attitude is, so what? They don't give a fuck. Because these devils benefit from this, this, the, 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 uh, this past devil's work, man. This past iniquity said he's going to get punished for it. They benefited from it, so they what? Shit, that's what? like the book of Job says, his bones is full of the sins of his youth. Oh my goodness, it sure does. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Hold on, now, now, in case you don't know, Babylon is America, the land of great confusion. That's right. Bab Babylon means confusion. Look around, this shit out here is confusing. You got women committing adultery left on right. Nobody knows who their father is, okay? Right. <laughs> I used to have an old joke. 
the black joke. When they say, what's the most confusing day in the hood? They be like, Father's Day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't nobody oh, know who their father is. That's true, too. He, he don't nobody know if that girl over there is actually a girl or a man. <laughs> or, you know, post-operation. There you go. There's another one, too. Uh, mama's babies, papa's maybe. Yep, 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 yep. And that's just a fact, man, because you may have grown up with this man. This man put food on you, on your belly, put when a shelter on your head. Right, and you still don't know if that's your daddy or not, man. Well, through the spirit, somebody like that is your father. You know what I'm saying? If somebody actually cared for your ass, that is your father. Really, if we only got one father, that's the father in heaven. That's right. That's right. How? Yeah, there's some decent people out there. They're so stupid. They'll, they'll raise up another bitch's kids. Mm -hmm. And when they know that bitch is a hoe, he just wants some pussy. Yeah. And they end up getting close with the child, mm -hmm. you know? And then the bitch leaves after she Then the bitch leaves him. And then the, just, yeah, then the child's life is ruined again. Right, right. Can't see his friend no more, his uncle. Well, my sister, what she did, she waited till the kids were grown. And the nigga that, the millionaire nigga that took care of him, she took half and threw his ass out, man. These bitches you know need what I'm death, man. Yeah, they need they, death. They need more than death. They death's, need death. That's too easy. They need death, man. Death seems just too quick to eat. They got, they got to get tortured. Tortured, you know? yeah. And to this day, she's telling those motherfucking kids, my, you know the one that just met down here? Man, he don't even know who his real dad is, man, but he think the other nigga is dad, though. Man, I don't even know who my real dad is. Right. You know, none of us do. Right. I mean, you can say you think you know who your dad is. And that's just the reality of that's it. What, that's you what you think it. your dad you is. You can just say it is, man. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully you might have some features of him. You know, you might right. look like him a little bit. That's the only way. But then again, I see other motherfuckers that ain't in the same family look alike. <laughs> Shit. You know? Let me read this Revelation of 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image. And they're down there worshiping the beast. Down there, the, uh, the July, today's July 3rd, they got their celebration going on downtown. And everybody's flocking there to give honor and praise to the beast. That's what they're doing. It's packed down there. That's how right? fucking stupid these people are. You ever saw the crowd down there? You go since you've been in Columbus? Mm -hmm. these you can't people, get in there and get out. These people are so goddamn stupid. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never uh, went down there. They're going downtown to celebrate their own slavery. Are you going downtown to celebrate your own slavery? Um, where, was, where was black people at in July 4th, 1776? Where was they at? Hey, white, hey, white people, where was black people hey, at? Hey, white devils. Hey, hey, yeah, you damn devils. Hey, excuse me, Mr. White Man, where was the black people at in 1776? Y'all gonna go celebrate uh, 1776? Celebrate your own slavery? You think that's funny? You think that's cute? Hell, they just got finished celebrating Juneteenth, which was, uh, uh, supposed to be the celebration of us being released out of slavery. When the fuck did we get out of slavery? Right. There was no release. There was an emancipation. There was no Wait a minute. freeing of the slaves. There should have been a liberation. From one owner it, to right. another. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went there. Everybody. Yeah, because they never used that word liberation. <laughs> yeah, that, that would say the liberation of the slaves. Yeah, yeah. Li liber liberty means freedom. That means justice and judgment. Uh, the word freedom means free. Mm. <laughs> They didn't say we freed the slave. No, we emancipated. Like when you, like, like they got something called emancipation where a child gets emancipated from, from one parents. set of parents to another. Yeah. Uh, the word emancipate means to transfer ownership from one to another. That's right. That's right. It was a jack move by the government. <laughs> None of you people know what the word emancipate means. The slaves were emancipated. They were never free. Emancipate means to transfer ownership from one to another. Pretty much. You're all going down to celebrate July 4th and you're celebrating slavery and you're giving praise to Satan and you're worshiping the beast. If any man worship the beast. If any man worship the beast. And his image. And his image, that goddamn American flag. Keep going. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. That's right, because America, the Most High God is going to destroy America by fire. All right? America is not a righteous country. There is no judgment in America. There is no justice in America. That's why when you go to the court system downtown, the rich man never goes to jail. Only poor people. All America does is oppress the poor and they rob the weak. 
Yvonne. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. For all you faggots, you're going to get burned up. When the Lord brings that destruction, that fire, you're going to get burnt the fuck up. If you ain't right with the Most High, you're going to get burnt the fuck up. All right, you're going to die. And he shall be tormented with fire. You will get tormented with fire. And brimstone. And brimstone. In the presence of the holy angels. And in the presence of the Lamb, Yahweh Shah. And we're going to laugh too. We're going <laughs> to sing the song of Moses. We're going to get drunk on that good wine. And we're going to laugh at you, devil. You better hope some, something happened down there tonight. We're going to get drunk on that. Uh, I pray to the Lord. You know? Son will. I pray yeah, to some will. Yeah, some will. Yeah, some will. I hope a race riot breaks out. Oh, that'd be beautiful. A uh, race riot, because they, most people downtown is all black people celebrating <laughs> their slavery. I, I pray the Lord put the crazy wild spirit on them. Mm -hmm. And they just go wild, mm -hmm. like some yeah. wild animals. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They just go nuts. That'd be beautiful, man. That'd yeah. be beautiful, man. That'd be beautiful. That'd be fucking beautiful, That'd be beyond man. beautiful, you know? It is coming, whether it happens or not or not. That race, Something's going to happen. Going, yeah. Sooner or later. Yeah. Say, I have a long time holding my peace. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, something's going to happen. A long time. I and mean, that long time is up now. You know? I refrain myself. I, I just can't. I just, I just can't get it. These motherfuckers, I mean, I do get it. These motherfuckers actually going to worship the beast. To give praise to the devil. That's, That's what right. they're doing. <laughs> Here you go, Proverbs 1 and 22. And the little black kids looked at us like they didn't know what 1776 was. Yeah, they, they did. They were listening. Right? They fucking did. I don't you know? think they even know about. Mm -hmm. They don't. Man, most of these people don't even know what July 4th is. Right. They right, don't. Right. They don't know. What's that? Have a Fireworks day? Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue day? Yeah. They don't yeah. even know the actual history behind mm -hmm. it. That's how stupid these motherfuckers are, man. That's right. They're not teaching these children nothing in these schools. They got, what's that shit they got common core in the school? Two plus two equals five now oh, in the school. Lord have mercy. And that's true too, yeah? Yeah. No child left behind, boy. No child left, all this other dumb shit. This school, that's why they said no Bibles allowed in the school. Motherfuckers can't read shit. <laughs> they, they, they'll let your child read every book but the Bible. But the Bible, right. They'll let them read Greek mythology. You're supposed to separate religion uh, uh, from the state. Well, why are you teaching Greek mythology in the Battle of Troy? Mm. Don't teach that. Mm. Don't teach. And I had read some Greek mythology when I was in middle school. I remember back, it was some fucking perverted shit we was reading. All <laughs> well, reality. It's all perverted. It's, it's Zeus is I, in everything. middle school. Hey, everything you Zeus is fucking everybody. He was having commit adultery. Mm. He go fuck uh, motherfuckers' wives. They and that's you, where that movie came. Actually, yeah, you're right. All the movies that come out, he had that his son is by well, Hercules, an Hercules, Hercules, yeah, uh, yeah, an adulterous Her baby, Perseus, yep. Perseus, yep. Perseus too, yeah, Clash Perseus, of the Titans, Perseus, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah came, uh, he formed a. They yeah, tried to take more five down with that. Shit. I was just watching the old one. That's a better weeks. one. That's, that's, that's way, in my opinion. Way five hundred million times too? better. Cool. Okay. And Alexander. It's way better. Because because wasn't so called Alexander supposed to be the son of Zeus. So that was adult, uh, so-called yeah, adultery right. too on his behalf. Wow. Yeah, cause Phil was a faggot. Uh, who knows who the fuck? Yeah. That's a bad and it did. They just say Alexander was the son of Zeus. Where did they show you that bit? They had that demon bitch in that fucking movie. Angela Jolie. That fucking slut. I hate that bitch. And she was laying up with with the serpent movie, in that yeah, movie. She was laying up with the serpent. Right. That's a disgusting movie. It shows you Esau's a faggot. They show Philip, uh, just. Fucking a dude in the ass. Oh god, man. It was disgusting. Are you serious? Yeah. You you seen that movie? Which one? What movie? It's right, right. Alexander. Because, that's why the dude killed Philip. He killed him because he humiliated him in front of everybody. Right. Because he fucked him in the ass in front of the whole, right in the middle of the party. There you go. That was disgusting, man. That's crazy. They actually put that shit in that yeah. movie. Yeah. And Alexander was fucking that Babylonian faggot yep. in Alexander, the movie. When this, when this, and he, oh, and he had a Colin, Colin Farrell. Farrell. Okay, okay. And he had a fine ass. Well, she was actually an Israelite. Is that the exact name of it? Yeah, uh, yeah Alexander. Alexander. Yeah. Alexander. I can download and check it out. Well, yeah, the new one. I'm doing that be today. On the pirate, baby. I'm doing that yeah. today. Yeah, it came well, out. Like, it came like out that. in 2004. Yeah, because I don't think I've seen it. I don't the old one's pretty it. good too, though. With uh, that's what I'm thinking about the old one. The old one had a. I saw that so long ago, man. I forgot that motherfucking thing. I'll oh, go ahead. 
Oh, is he reading something? Okay, Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. All right, because these people, they love they GT, uh, the GTA, you know what I'm saying? GTA 5 is out. We've been out for a minute. Motherfuckers playing the shit out of that. They playing some goddamn, they've been playing Madden ever since Madden first came out. Came out. out. Super Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. oh, they've been stuck on goddamn stupid. Fucking Madden. Fucking Madden, man. But they, 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 they the, expert the Madden, Madden God. and franchise mode. I ain't played Madden in five years. So. Man, I ain't never liked Madden. I don't, I don't, I like Tecmo Bowl. That's, that's my shit. shit. Super Tecmo Bowl. That's the spirit, though. When Madden came out, man, I totally lost interest in sports games, man. Yeah, Super Tecmo Bowl, you throw a hundred yard pass. <laughs> yeah, right. I shake your ass, oh, boy. Shit. Nah, but uh, they, that's all they know, man. They experts in video games. The, the only knowledge they got is how to run a, how to run a slot, how to run a post. <laughs> how to do the halfback draw. You know what I'm saying? That's their knowledge. Yeah, the yeah. halfback draw, the uh what else they got? The option, you play in college. Yeah, sweep, the, the, the sweep. sweeps. <laughs> that's the yeah, yeah, the three, four, the four, three, the nickel and dime packages. That's the only knowledge these motherfuckers got. That's it. That's the extent. And they know all of it too. They they know that did defensive. You know what I'm saying? If you go out there, yeah. That's crazy though, man. Hey, yeah. How true it is, like damn. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, they catch your ass slipping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you out there, you out there with uh, <laughs> if you uh, yeah. You got the wrong defense out there, they'll make your ass yeah. pay for it. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. That's crazy. But I ain't got time to be studying that shit. Mm -hmm. Now I'm studying the scriptures and truth and knowledge. Not a bunch of bullshit. Football is a game. Doesn't mean shit. Game with mental children. It don't mean a goddamn thing. You can't. What are you gonna do with the knowledge of football? Except for <laughs> go play football. You'd be surprised they write that shit into history. Which actually they are. Yeah, yeah, that's you it. Know? Yeah, hell yeah. They, they got a Hall of Fame. Yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah. They don't got football knowledge, they got rapping knowledge. And then they raising their children up to be rappers. Teaching them the different rhyme schemes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, different styles and yeah, shit. Yeah, different styles. Like, this the offbeat style. This is the... That's the only knowledge they got. Right. They got no kind of wisdom and knowledge. Look at that. That toilet paper knowledge. Yeah, actually, <laughs> that, that's not worse than a rapper with that. no knowledge. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the worst sound. Have you noticed, like, when there's a rapper who do got a little bit of knowledge, it sounds... Okay. Five times better. It's not worse than hearing a bunch of meaningless words. Oh, goodness. He's There's a bunch of fucking man. words. You should hear this rap shit he be sending me, man, from these Japanese brothers, who are obviously some Israelites. Their music be jamming, man. They probably listen they to Wu-Tang. They in the spirit, too. They probably on that Wu-Tang shit, I bet. Yeah, their beats are like very similar they, to they, the they, RZA's. They, they into that lot of that old school. They be mentioning oh, yeah. reference to a lot of like, Old school shit, man. But the old rappers you know? was way better. Yep. Like Public Enemy. Yep, they get reference to them all the time. I mean, yeah, you see on the one video how he had, uh, he actually had Jackie Robinson right, playing. Right, he was right. watching Jackie Robinson. So picture of Do the Right Thing, the movie. Yeah, ain't that something. He's Japanese, brother. You see the one in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, brother, man. Well, rap like music, niggas, man. Rap music yeah. used to be about going against the system. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. And that's what they're doing. That's what, that's what they over should there. do, man. That's all their music is about. Man, man. I need to learn Japanese because you got all kind of Japs over there who's Israelites. Oh, I mean, yeah, kind of, my yeah, straight, you know, straight man. Jake, man. I'm straight Jakes. They know bit. it. They know it. They yeah, because that one song where he, was, he said "fuck Babylon." Yep. Not one it. song. Yep. Yep. Oh, see? Yep. Well, yeah, the reggae spread that shit too. I mean, sort of reggae motherfuckers. They do a little tiny bit of good. That mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Yeah. See that? Can you get out of camera? That much. <laughs> a, a pin, a pin, talk, a pinpoint. When you start talking that Heli Selassie shit. Mentioning other you, guys, like the scripture said, don't get mentioned to that, other guys. You're worthy of death. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I be loving the rap game. They be talking about the Most High, Zion, Jerusalem. Then the motherfucker got to say, goddamn Heli Selassie. Heli Selassie, East India. Now turn that shit off. A fucking, a, a heathen. A heathen. Because reggae is some of my a favorite. A Elamite. I right. love reggae. <laughs> right, right. Reggae That's crazy, man. Shit, and Elam right. got one of the worst, foulest spirits of all the other weird nations, man. They're yeah, they strange. Look like, look like little pixies. Little fairies and shit. Wearing That's their amazing, little, little, little gold sprinkle garments and I shit. I can't believe they was on that shit. On, Bigging up Heli Selassie. I don't know how the fuck that happened. <laughs> yeah. They turned that shit into a fucking religion. <laughs> Just stick to the Bible, you dumbasses. All, all the song lyrics is usually from the Bible. 
Then they pervert it with that Heli Selassie shit. Yep. <laughs> And they usually quote the King James Bible too, cause you know that was they, that, was the, that was the English comedy. Yeah, that's, that's how it be too. I was into this Jamaican song. It was talking about fly away home to Zion. Then going to say some shit, some motherfucking uh, Rasta. Yeah, man. Fuck Rasta back shit. shit. Yeah. yeah, like wow, like fuck. I mean, that's why it has. That's why it actually is fruitless. You know, because it has some truth in it. But then it comes with that madness. And they throw that swine in there. You know? That's like cause when the Lord said that the tree is without fruit. Yeah. And <laughs> that's just like uh bluegrass is the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bluegrass. Because bluegrass oh, yeah. is all gospel too. I like mm -hmm. me some bluegrass. You know what I'm saying? I like shit where they sing about the most high. Dave, you know let me read this real quick, brother. Exodus 23 and um, 13. I was about to say one more thing real quick though. Okay. Uh, but we it's a good thing. See the most high got prophets down in Jamaica. He got brothers. Under GMS down at T. You can have the one with the Ohio State. Mm -hmm. I'll take the short one. I'll go ahead with that. <laughs> Exodus uh, 23 and 13. In all and in, in all things that I have said unto you by circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods. Yeah, when you say Haley Selassie, the King of Kings of the Lord of Lords, you mention other gods. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. <laughs> really, too, when they celebrate Christmas, they put goddamn Santa Claus idols everywhere. And Santa Claus is Baal, all right? And, which is really Odin. Mother, that's where they get that Santa Claus shit. It's from Odin. Uh, what they call him? Father Winter. Right, cause they are very similar. And, yeah, same, same beard, same, same beard. <laughs> that's the same motherfucker. And same just, exact beard and every fucking and then thing. Then they got the reindeers. Go back to the goddess of the hunt, like Artemis or Diana. Yep. So, so yeah, Christmas is just like a big pagan fucking demon fest, is what it is. Yeah, the only faggot celebrate Christmas. If you're a grown ass man telling your child that Santa Claus got him some presents, the Lord's gonna put you to death. You got a fucking problem. You got a fucking problem. Lying to your children. Who the fuck lies to their children at such a young age? Uh, at all. Oh, never done that to my children. Never. I never once. Right. My, my family get mad at me because I don't lie to my children. Because I don't celebrate Christmas. You know what I tell them? Fuck Christmas. I don't give a good goddamn about no motherfucking Christmas. I don't give a damn about the 4th of July. Fuck Christmas. Fuck the 4th of July. Fuck you. Yeah, and fuck all you devils. Yes, you did. <laughs> like them devils. Yes, you did. <laughs> Look at the fucking faggots. Fags, see them? We got Mad. goddamn homosexuals. Mad, because we out here. We got faggots out here, adulterous women all up. You got women running around loose like wild animals. Looking like prostitutes. Over 90% of the women in America dress like prostitutes. Ho. They look like hoes. They look like they are hoes. In the Bible, the Holy Bible calls them hoes. According to the Bible, you women are hoes and bitches. Bitches and hoes. Bitches and hoes. That's what the Bible says. I'll, I'll read a scripture to prove it. Oh, you already got it. Please, yeah. <laughs> I'll be always fired up. Quick draw. Because this is offensive to them. Very you know, offensive. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 26 and 25. And hey, we're going to come straight with it. We ain't going to bullshit. We're going to speak plain English so you can understand. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. The Bible says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Mm. What is a female dog? Anybody got an answer? A bitch. Thank you. <laughs> so the Bible said hey, hey. a shameless woman shall be counted as a bitch. Just like you scream old heights. Oh yeah. <laughs> just like, what is a... <laughs> I'm surprised y'all answered. Usually the woman be too shameful. She want to call us a motherfucker or something. Like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Hey, man, we all kind of people. Right? Yeah, hey, man, beautiful, man. That was fly as hell, man. I like that. That was on cue like hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good one. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's the spirit. The spirit working with us. That's the spirit. You know what I mean? That's the spirit. That shit was on cue. They, they probably some little Israelites anyway. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is like. I got another one for these hoes. These women out here ain't right. They just ain't fucking right. Be scared to have sex with half these women, you'll catch a disease. 
you know, according to the uh, Center of Disease and Control, according to the CDC, over half of Americans are infected with venereal diseases. That's according to government statistics. Grab the sign, right? I love Grab that. Grab the sign right there, you can read it. <laughs> I love that sign. Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in this city. Ooh, what is a harlot? A harlot is a whore. So the Bible called these women hoes. He called them bitches. God called you hoes, whores, and bitches. That's in the Bible. And all these women out here, they ho they hoes, they bitches, they tricks, and they no goddamn good. Amos 7 and 17. Therefore thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be a harlot in this city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thou shalt, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go forth into captivity, forth out of his land. And you in your captivity right now in goddamn America. That a whole goddamn bus full of motherfuckers. Here you go, bro. That's why that's a good thing. The July 3rd party. The, you got Coda buses packed full of motherfuckers like sardines. And they yeah. all <laughs> hearing the, the beauty about it, ain't it? And they all hearing the word. They stuck at that bus stop for like oh, for a minute. For a couple minutes, yeah, if, you know what I mean? Long, man. They were just stuck. That's yeah, like March. The, that's all like the, the bus load. And all the windows is down too. Yep. Because they packed. They all heard that word. Fucking faggots can't escape your fucking judgment. <laughs> That's right. Ezekiel 16 and 35. Wherefore, O harlot, o hear harlot? the word of the Lord. Now, harlot's a fucking whore. Thus said the Lord power, because thy filthiness was poured out, and Filthy. thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers. It's filthiness. Do you know, excuse me, do you know America's a filthy country? The people are filthy, the people are foul, they degenerates, okay? The demons, the devils, bitches, bastards, <laughs> imbeciles, and imbeciles, <laughs> and incompetent. <laughs> Your incompetence shall fail you. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Their vincent shall fail. Go ahead, go ahead with it. They gotta hear it all. They gotta hear it all. And ain't nobody adding us out here. You can't just shut us up and. Make a Can't call the cops on us today either. They all downtown. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no cops coming to save your ass today. So we gonna be extra raw with it. <laughs> right. Because thus said the Lord power, because thy filthiness was poured out. Oh, your boy got some skills. Through thy whoredoms, with thy lovers, and with all the idols of thy abomination, and by the blood of thy children, which thy gifts give unto them. Right. Well, I mean, these people offer their children up to the devil pretty much. They, they, they get, read that scripture again. Where is that? Okay. This is Ezekiel uh, 16 and 36. Thus said the Lord power, because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers. Right, because America's like Sodom and Gomorrah. And these people have no problem, the women have no problem walking down the street looking like prostitutes. You got homosexuals walk around freely. When the Bible says you're supposed to put a faggot to death, he ain't supposed to give a faggot rights. He got the right to get stones thrown at his head. Okay, that's his right. That's a faggot's right is to get put to death according to the words of the Holy Bible. Okay, that's the only right a faggot has is to get put to death. An adulterous woman, like there's supposed to be no women's rights, no uh, women's liberation. An adulterous woman is supposed to be put to death. And with all the idols of thy abominations and by the blood of thy children which thou didst give unto them. The blood of thy children which thou give, give unto them. These, these women, these dirty ass, filthy whores, they're the ones that control all the families. A man has no family. A man has no say so about his own family. The woman can divorce, you take the children and make you pay child support. Ain't a fucking thing you can do about it. Mm -hmm. Then your wife, that dirty ass slut, that bitch, she's gonna take your children, she gonna ship them off to the uh, to the government brainwashing center, child molestation, 
pedophilia center called a public school. They gonna fuck your child's mind up. They gonna feed them nothing but poison. They gonna get uh, all, all the uh, school lunches and nothing but pork, chicken nuggets with silicone in it, MSG, genetically modified corn. So these women, they, 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 they get, they sacrificing their children to Satan pretty much. To bow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, to the Molech, pretty much. Well, I mean, what do you call when a woman, on a regular basis, every time she gets pregnant, she has an abortion, mm. and then and then they call that that's the woman's right to choose. Mm. Well, you got the right to get put to death. Any woman that gets an abortion should be put to death. Man, I know bitches that have so many abortions they can't even get pregnant no more. Man. Every, yeah, that is all. Right. That shit butchers you inside. They leave body parts up in there and all that. Yeah. Butcher them, mauling them. They do it all the time. Even body parts. So what? What was that? They legalize abortion. Roe versus Wade. All my life, abortion has been legal. I, I've had a bitch kill one of my kids before, and a man has no say so if a woman murders your baby. Here it is. That, that's here it is. That's my that's my seed up in that bitch. I have several. That belongs to me, not her. So I have the right to kill that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I should have that right to kill her myself. Hey man, kill the motherfucker that's, that and it did it. Yep. And both of them should get put to death. Yep, yep. And but anybody hey, who agreed with the, the, it. The assistants that helped the doctor. The, the, the mom who suggested it. Well, the bitch sitting at the desk that signed you in. Yeah, the bitch that signed you in. You right, the goddamn janitor. Guilty <laughs> by, uh, what is it? Let the janitor go. Guilty by that's, association. That's the only, that, yeah, that's the only job he could get. He's up in there, I can't believe this shit to go on this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. So we gonna let the janitor go. That's right. Everybody that's else gotta get put to death. Let's to the janitor. <laughs> Behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure in all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated, I will even gather them round about against thee, and will pour and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness, and I will judge thee, as what? women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and what? I will give thee blood it says and fury and jealousy. As women that break bread, wedlock and shed blood, <laughs> And I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood and shed blood. So, so breaking wedlock. He, he, look at this fucking faggot, man. That was these songs. That boy hard in the spirit. Yeah, these bitches have. There's no such thing as divorce in the Bible. A woman is not allowed to leave a man, okay? The punishment for that is death. Hm. It should be death. I got a scripture, man. How they got this American spirit? So, and it's still, and it seems still kind of flat. You don't really see that American spirit. Look at our camera. Look at this old ass dress. Look at this old ass dress. Look at this old ass dress. I hope them goddamn Greg's get caught in his bike tire. Shit, yeah, that'd be funny as hell. Another little Wayne wannabe. No, that's uh, what's the other guy? That's that's uh, two chains. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, now everybody since look, ain't nobody had dreads like that since Lil Wayne did. Cause all these people, they, they ain't none of them got their own spirit. They're a bunch of parrots, impersonators. You know what I'm saying? Like, like plastic people. They was made on a fucking. Assembly line and shit. Didn't have Jimmy Hendrix call them plastic people or something? So I heard somebody say that shit. Yeah. Say they're the manufacturing plant. Wow. That's right. They're they cookie cutters. You know what I'm saying? They ain't none of these people. They none of them got their own mind. They've all been programmed by the system, by the beast. That their beast have done programmed they ass. The so-called Jew have done programmed they ass with his Hollywood movies. The so-called Jew who's a piece of shit and a devil, he programs you and poisons your mind with those Hollywood movies, with the music industry. Hollywood movies are all filth. There's nothing but faggots and blasphemy in every movie you watch. Even all the children cartoons have homosexual shit in it, have, have uh, blasphemous statements in it. They might as well say they got a degree or a master's degree or a doctorate in 
Discovery Channel or some shit. Right. Or BET. Oh. Got, a, got a plaque on their wall and shit. The three I, BET. Yeah, because most people in America, they, the only knowledge you have is the knowledge that you got from the so-called Jew. Television. Yeah, from the television. Because the so-called Jew owns the media. Okay, he ho owns cable TV. The so-called Jew makes all your favorite TV programs. Makes all your favorite movies. There we go. Let me, I got a scripture. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Right. Well, it, it seems like this is how shit's supposed to be because it's going on. It seems like it's okay for a nasty bitch to go out, throw the nigga out, and, and, and bring another nigga in. It seems like it's that's like, right. He yelled at me. Right, right. It seems like she it's okay for her to do that, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you, bitch, you bitches, these bitches deserve to get punched in their face. Damn Cause right. I wouldn't want to leave you if you just yell at her. If you just yell at her, you yell, she'll call the cops if you yell at her. Yeah, I got some. And then the cops will take you to jail for yelling. Mm -hmm. you know? I got some. I'm for these faggot ass cops, y'all get. Y'all, y'all, high up on that list and get put to death first. That's right. Because when, when the Lord gives us that power, it, it's, it's it, over. It's an all-out you know war on these fucking That's cops. When the Lord put that spirit on these two thirds. On two thirds, that's what he's gonna you get him. Yeah, you're right. Sitting back laughing, getting drunk. Yeah, right. Well, you're right. The you Lord is gonna get him. Cause it's gonna be like Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no cops. That uniform coming off real quick. <laughs> right. Fucking faggot ass cops, man. It's not worse than a fucking cop, man. Going and robbing your own people. You pull your own fucking family member over and give him a ticket. Here you go, Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have, have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the most high None. in the land. None. Zero. There's no truth. There's no knowledge of the most high. And I am still searching for another motherfucker that this, you know, that's out that one that's crying about this madness that's going on in this city, man. But well, you got some half-assed Israelites. Half-assed. You know what I mean? Half-assed. Some half-assed Israelites. Some facts. Yeah, some facts. Some facts. You mess. If you ain't coming straight with it, you might as not well come out at all. Right. Because the Lord does tell you about lukewarm motherfuckers. But you got them, oh, like the Peraza Israelite. They all on that old tired ass shit. Don't be trying to hear that shit y'all preaching, man. Old time preaching. Like GMS called the 1992 Israelite. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody trying to hear that shit, man. Right, right, right. Y'all ain't got no spirit. When you, you preaching, ain't got no rhythm to it. When we out here preaching, it sound like a, like a, like a symphony. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful song. In tune. <laughs> got, got them instruments tuned just right. Melody. You know that pedal piano in the background, <laughs> that could guitar thrown out them, uh, them, uh, them whatever. Right. If we put a beat to uh, the video, it sound like we was rapping. It'd be bad, won't it? It'd sounds. Be bad, won't it? Yeah, it'd be better than Wu Tang. Yep, yep. Let me go. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Revelation three and fifteen. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. Cold nor hot. You got some people don't want to teach at all. Uh huh. I would thou work. <laughs> I would thou were cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Yeah, so you can't be half assed with this truth. You can't learn this. You got a lot of people, they just learn the truth and they'll just keep it to themselves. Or they, they be an a, a internet prophet and they only on the comment boards, you know what I mean? I mean, that's good to be on the comment boards and people with truth. You gotta go harder than that. Yeah. You gotta go hard, man. That's all I can say. Let me get, I got a scripture. You gotta go all out. You gotta put all your chips in. Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Yes, a rod is for the back. I mean, what the shit out of these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers need their ass whoops. But it's actually a good thing when a cop beats the shit out of one of you fools. It's actually a good thing. Oh, yeah, I love seeing that. You actually deserve, even though I hate cops, 
I love him. I yeah. still love seeing cops fuck somebody up, man. Whoop their ass, too. And there's none innocent. <laughs> the cops got your ass and beat the shit out of you, you deserve it. Let me finish the rest of this up. Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Hey, let me get that camera for me. Y'all been doing it, I'll do it for a while. I don't never get to do the camera, go ahead. I'm gonna drop down to uh... Proverbs 10 and 21. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Mm. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief. It's sport to a fool to do mischief. <laughs> oh, like, uh, oh, he got the knockout game. That's a game, ain't it? <laughs>